Next order of business on the agenda is my report. I don't have a, but just a few things. Um, swimming pools, you know, we've had several people call and want to use fire hydrant or what have you to, to fill swimming pools. That's not available. Um, we have the exclusion meters that they can use to fill it by their, their garden hose. I know it takes a little bit longer, but uh, if they do it that way, then they get the, the uh, adjustment on their sewer bill. Um, but the use of the hydrants, especially with the water problems and things that opening those hydrants creates, uh, is just not a good business for us to start. You know, it's one thing to have to do it when you have an emergency, but um, if, if not, there's no need to create that problem for other people in town. We're in the grass cutting season. I think we're up to date pretty good on all of the letters and things that are, are needed to go out for the grass. But as usual and every year, if you see something that needs attention, please let Wendy know so that she can get them a letter, get them on the list, get it taken care of. And while we're talking about that, uh, the tractor is still at James River Equipment. Um, they're replacing a hydraulic boom and hose on the uh, backhoe attachment on the rear of the tractor. And I think they told Wendy it would be somewhere around the 10th of July before we got the tractor back. They're having trouble getting the parts delivered to them. But they've got to, we've got to have it fixed, we've got to have it. So, <coughs> As everybody knows, the state of emergency in Virginia is being lifted uh, by July 1st of this year. All the restrictions will be, uh, have been, and will be more so then, off of the table so we can get back to business as usual and Hopefully we can see some more folks start to attend our meetings and come out and um, get some activities planned. Uh, some of the other localities have uh, big plans for the 4th of July and things that we're, we're hoping a big turnout for. So um, hopefully we can get to normal and enjoy the rest of the summer. The bathroom at Public Works is almost finished. Um, that's a CARES Act uh, funded project. Put in a bathroom with a shower uh, for the town crew down there in the little concrete center block building that we had. Um, I was told today that they're waiting for one more window to arrive and uh, they, they went down today and patched the epoxy to the ceiling and so they're ready to paint once they get the windows installed down there and move forward. So it looks really nice. They've done a nice job and I think the town crew will be happy about it once they get it finished. So. And then the last thing that I have, uh, you know, we talked about this a little bit at the work session and power outages. We've had more, way more than our share of power outages uh, in the last two years and some of them for more than 24 hours, several of them for at least eight hours or more. Um, and it's just, it's not really fair to us. It's always the same little pocket from Fraser's Hill, Iron Gate, Glenwell, and McKinney's Hollow. I have right here an 800 number, which is to the State Corporation Commission Division of Public Utility Regulation. And that number um, is 1-800-552-7945. I'm advising everyone that's affected by these power outages to call this number, file a complaint, make sure you tell them where you live, what's happened, what's going on. And if your computer savvy and want to use the computer to do it, just go to the SCC Division of Public Utility Regulation uh, web page and it'll take you right to the complaint form and you can fill it out online and submit it online. My understanding is that the more phone calls that they receive uh, about the same problem, 
the more attention that problem is going to get. Could you repeat the number again, please? 1 800 552 7945. Okay, now at our work session, I have a different number from the Energy Commission. Yeah, well, this is the Complaint Division for Electric Utility Regulation. Okay. For the State Corporation Commission. You said it was FCC? S, S is in SAM. Public Relations? No, SCC C. Division of Public Utility. Public Utility. Regulation. And I'll make a Facebook post on the town's Facebook page with that number and information on it. And hopefully the old adage, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, will work in this case. <laughs> <laughs>